Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to my messy garage. So today we have this basic 4x6 trailer from Lowe's. And as you can see, it's just pretty simple with the metal grating on the bottom. Uh, it does have the ramp there on the back. Uh, so what we're going to do is add some plywood to the bottom and to the sides. And then some eye hooks for straps to make this thing a little more useful for hauling, uh, you know, bulk materials like mulch or dirt. And rocks or things like that. Let's make it a little more useful for landscaping and other jobs around the house. So I'll show you how I'm doing it right now. Okay, so first thing I did is just cut a sheet of this half inch plywood to fit on the inside of the deck of the trailer. Okay, so next we're going to cut some uh, 12 inch high pieces of this half inch plywood to go around the sides and the back of the trailer. Now there's a little, there's a little tube here that holds the uh, wiring it kind of sticks out on the inside so we're gonna have to cut around that uh, to make those pieces fit in correctly so we'll do that now okay so i cut out a little spot along the bottom there because of that lip sticking out for the the wiring so now everything fits more flush against the side there and it allows this back piece to fit in there the way it should okay so now that i've got this kind of mocked up with the major pieces here i'm gonna mount the floor the plywood to the floor of the trailer using these 3 8 bolts with a washer on the top and bottom and a lock nut on the bottom. By the way, here's what those bolts look like when they're in there. Here's what it looks like below. <clears throat> also, just wanted to mention that today I'm using some DeWalt tools. Get this DeWalt corded circular saw. I got sick of using a cordless circular saws because they always seem to run out of juice. Maybe just because mine are old, but uh, I like using a corded saw for projects like this. I know it's not going to run out of power. And similarly, I've got a DeWalt corded drill that I'm using today. And this Craftsman socket set always comes in handy. P.S. There's uh, links to all these products in the description box below. So I ended up putting six bolts on the sheet of plywood on the floor here. One on each corner and then one on each side about halfway down. And I think it's pretty sturdy. Okay, so now I'm going to try to mount one of these side pieces here to the side of the trailer along this rail. And I'm hoping that this bit that I bought, this 3 8 bit, will go through both the wood and the trailer. And I'm going to use the same uh, bolts and washers and lock nuts on this that I did on the bottom. So let's see what happens. Okay, so I got the side panel bolted up to the side of the trailer and the bit went through the metal very well so got her mounted on the back here that's what she looks like so I, yeah I put four bolts down the side here not really evenly spaced just kind of where I could fit them kind of out of the way uh, and I was gonna mount them on the bottom as well but I think just having those ones on the top is good enough it's pretty sturdy okay so now I've got both sides and the back on there so next thing I'm gonna do is screw these <clears throat> pieces of one by uh, to the side of these side panels um, so I can slide this thing this piece of wood in and out as a door so it can be in there when I need it and take it out when I don't need it. So this is how the back gate turned out. Just lift that in and out of there. It's a lot easier with two hands but you get the picture. So I think the last thing I'm going to do is install these tie down loops in each of the four corners so here's one i got a 63 uh, shank on that uh, thing from lowe's and it's got a nut here at the top and then i'll put a washer and it'll go through the trailer and another washer and then a lock nut and i think that'll be pretty handy to have uh, the tie downs in each of the corners all right guys here it is in the light of day with all the upgrades made so you can see the old back hatch there We've got tie-down hooks in all four corners. Those are going to be sweet. Got the old half-inch plywood here, so uh, pretty happy with it and ready to take it out and do some work with it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you come back to my channel to see some more projects like this. Thanks. Bye.